Hey guys, welcome back to another one. This is another Theta update video, and if you like this content, please like and subscribe to the channel, and you can find me on Theta TV as well. All right, in this video, it should be a relatively short video. I just wanted to spread some light on the differences between the Theta Edgecast and streaming on Theta TV. There is a little bit of confusion out there, so hopefully this is a quick video that can summarize it um, and everyone is on the same page. Uh, so if I were to break this down in just like a quick five second summary, I would just say the difference between the Edgecast and Theta TV, one is decentralized 100% and the other is centralized. So that was it. Uh, that is the main differences between the Edgecast overview. Both of them use uh, Theta Edge nodes, as you can see on the official thetatoken.org website, you know, there's about 13,000 edge nodes right now. And both of them are utilizing these, you know, laptops and computers to use that edge computing power to stream uh, whatever data, whatever content we have out there. Uh, so that is in a nutshell what is going on. But I'll read, you know, the documents from thetatoken.org, some of the Theta TV uh, documents as well, and some Medium articles to kind of spread the light a little bit further. Uh, so checking out the thetatoken.org, we can see this document right here, which talks about the Edgecast overview. And it says, since the Theta Token white paper was released, there's been a couple things end users should be rewarded for sharing their excess bandwidth, content creators should earn more, and then video platforms should be able to lower CDN costs using Theta's peer-to-peer -peer infrastructure. And in order to do this, they created the Theta Edgecast overview. Um, the Theta Edgecast, this one is 100% decentralized. It's a video streaming dApp that's on the native Theta blockchain, as we know. And this technology, it includes the ability to capture video, transcode it in real time, cache and relay to other users globally using the peer-to-peer -peer network at the time of this article, there's only 2,000. Now there's 13,000 as we saw. And in order to do this, this is a big foot stomp, you have to download the Theta Edge node. And there's a couple reasons for that, which we'll get into in a second. But after you download the Edge node, um, you have the ability to select Watch on the Theta Edge cast. It looks very similar, slightly different now. Um, but once you select watch, then you can watch whatever streams are out there. This was just one beta test to eventually work towards the Theta Video API. So this right here. They had to prove that they were able to create a self-sustaining decentralized platform. So if they could prove it on their dApp, that is, you know, centralized and beta tested with in-house, then they for sure could start a Theta Video API, which once again is decentralized and not something that they have to maintain 24-7. And in order to do the uh, streaming on Edgecast, you have to use a streaming app. The one they recommended is OBS Studio, and it's uh, open source. And all you have to do is start your stream, you connect it to the Theta Edge node, and that is it. So in order to watch a stream, you have to, you know, you can provide it over a web-based URL, which brings you to the Edge node player, beta, and then a stream ID. If you were to select it, let's say right now, I don't have uh, the Theta Edge node downloaded on this laptop. It, you know, it wants you to download the Edge node. There's a couple other articles out there, one on Theta TV, and I think this is what leads to a little bit of confusion because you see the Theta Edge cast on Theta TV and you think they're both the same thing, slightly different. And then there's also a Medium article that kind of describes more or less the same thing in a little less detail. Um, so that is part one. The other part is Theta TV. So like I said, because there is that Theta TV article out there, I think some people do get confused, but this is also using, you know, the same edge nodes to uh, relay streams on a peer-to-peer -peer basis, but this one is centralized. So Theta, the Theta network is in charge of Theta TV and making sure that everything that is out there, you know, things that are being streamed 24 seven, you know, they meet community standards. You don't want to have, you know, any bad things playing, especially on the landing page for Theta TV. So they have to, you know, 
they have to make sure that everyone who has a stream key, they're, you know, good people. And there's outlines for that, which we'll talk about here in a little bit. So everything is in community theta TV, and you can read about all the rules and regulations there. And about the overview, you know, it kind of talks about how Theta TV should look. And in order to become a Theta TV content creator, there's a huge page. This is super important on things that you can do and can't do. So you can start streaming on the Theta Edgecast. And the, they talk about the monetization guide as well as how to upload videos on Theta TV. Um, but kind of like I was saying before, the streamer guideline, this is what's very important. So there's creator rules. So every single creator that's on this landing page for Theta TV, they have to follow these rules. And they're not hard rules. I mean, they're self-explanatory, normal things like you don't want to see hateful speech, illegal activity, threats, so on and so forth. And, you know, there's a laundry list of rules. And this is similar rules that you see on YouTube or any other platform as well, or Twitch. And if you can follow those rules and if you meet a bunch of other criteria, then you can get your stream key and then you can be listed as, you know, one of the uh, orange check mark individuals like this uh, and be able to stream 24 7 and you can pop up on the theta landing page so hopefully that was a quick little overview i just wanted to go you know quickly over the differences between theta tv and the theta edgecast network i think some people get those confused and hopefully this kind of shed a little bit of light on the differences between those two once again if you like this content please like and subscribe and i'll see you on the next one